everybody, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. You know, I'm really not a bass player, but you know, uh, guitar players like to pretend. So we'll pretend I'm a bass player today while I demo this awesome 1977 Fender Music Master bass. Uh, every time I get a chance to grab one of these, I do it. There hasn't been one that I found that I didn't like. Uh, these are just awesome basses. They're short scales. Uh, it's got a 30 inch uh, scale neck. The uh, nut is one and five eighths inch wide. So for guitar players, I'll tell you what, these are dream basses for us. They just, they feel very similar to uh, what we're used to in guitars. Now, uh, the, let me tell you a little bit about Music Master basses. They started, uh, the Fender started making these in 1972 and they discontinued them in 79. Uh, about that time they started doing the Squires and there was one reissue that they did in 1997 I think under a Squire name but that's about it and uh, why they haven't continued them I have no idea because I think they were very hot sellers I know every time I get one they go um, the uh, the base itself is uh, is just awesome I mean it uh, this would have been one of the white ones they came in black and red and white if I'm uh, not mistaken there might have been a blue one I can't remember now but uh, the white ones turned into this really cool gold yellow color. Uh, it actually faded, and uh, it's you know a lot of people say, "Oh, that thing was uh, re redone in yellow." I was like, "No, that's not redone in yellow. That is the original white finish uh, that fades out." The guitar is all original. Uh, the only thing I'll just tell him, Brian, the only thing that uh, I try to talk him out of his thumb rest. He's got one of these too. I said, "Can I have your thumb rest?" He's no. Uh, don't blame him, but uh, the only thing that's missing is the thumb rest. I'm sure you can find one of those. Has the really hot single coil pickup, which uh, uh, we're hearing a little single coil noise uh, in here, uh, but that's not annoying at all that happens with single coil pickups. Original uh, tailpiece, knobs, uh, pick guard, tuners, uh, uh, fender plate on the back, and uh, the guitar is just really in, in cool shape. I, I will tell you it's been around and you can tell uh, it's uh, it's worn in all the right places. It's got some scars and some some back button uh, issues. There's a little bit of a buckle rash right in here. A couple spots on the back of the neck, uh, but the neck is still nice and shiny, and it feels really really nice. And uh, there was a sticker that we got off down here, so of course it's lighter in here where uh, uh, the sticker was keeping the UV from hitting it. And there's some couple scratches, but all in all, I mean, I'll tell you what, this bass just looks great. I will tell you that the action on this bass is excellent. I had Jeff the Tech go over, we put some new strings on. The strings were just gross. Uh, they've been on here forever, so we took those off, put some new strings on it, cleaned it up a lot. It was it was very very neglected, and uh, so we we definitely gave it the Lawman Guitars spa treatment, and it's uh, the 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 fretboard is now all nicely nourished, and it's just really in in nice nice vintage shape now. Um, and uh, you know, there's nothing that you really need to do to this thing. Um, you know, your bass players might want to raise the action a little bit. I've got it super low. exhausted all the songs lawman knows on the bass uh check it out it's really really cool i love this bass every time we get one we love having them now i'll tell you did not get a case with it however 
At Lawman Guitars, we strive to always have original cases for our guitars, and I had one in reserve. Got this original soft shell case, which is what they would have come with. Uh, it's got the Fender logo on it. It's got uh, hinges. Oh, someone even replaced the middle hinge with some leather. That's very nice. So the hinges are here. The latches are here. The original handle is here. And inside, it's really very, very nice. Still has the nice red plush, uh, or not plush, but the felt uh, interior. Your accessory box is gone. This is how much is, <laughs> is left from your accessory box. So uh, no accessory box. But uh, you can see it's in really, really very nice shape. A little uh, damage at the bun end where the, the end pin hits those and wears it out back in there. But you know what? For a case from 1977, I mean, come on. Uh, it's in, in really, really nice shape. So, hey, if you've been looking for a Music Master bass and you don't want one that's in black or red, you want one of those that looks gold, this is one to grab. It is just awesome. It plays great, sounds great, and it needs nothing but a thumb rest. It's got the original case. It's all set to go. Check it out at www.lawmanguitars.com. And hey, while you're here in our YouTube channel, why don't you hit subscribe? We, uh, we went, Brian, from 6,200 to 6,300. 64? No, 63. Yeah. <laughs> we, we came up 100 from last month. So thank you all for, uh, for subscribing to our channel. We've got 6,400 subscribers now. We're shooting for 10,000. Think we can hit that? I think we can. And uh, why don't you be one of the ones that uh, joins the club? Hit that subscribe button, and then you don't have to look for us next month. We'll see uh, five more of these pop up next month in your uh, inbox, and we're happy to do this every month for you. So hit that subscribe button, and uh, we're on Facebook. You can Google Lawman Guitars. There's no way to avoid Lawman Guitars. Just hit Lawman Guitars, and any computer will pop right up at you. But hit subscribe. We'll be happy to uh, show you more demos next month. So check it out www.lawmanguitars.com. I really appreciate you watching my demos. Thank you so very much.